I get a lot of funny looks when I go down the road, firstly with a custom number plate. It makes people wonder why would somebody do this? Maybe you can't afford an AMG or something like that. It's possible as well. I also got some 63 badging on the sides and every robot I stop at, the people hear the vehicle and then I put in two and two together. And then the first question is, is there really a 63 motor in there? And it's, it's quite fulfilling to see people actually being amazed by the vehicle or what has been done on it. Hi, my name is Quentin Boylan. This is my, what do you call it? It's an AMG Hilux, or it's a Hilux Bucky, or a little pickup truck, whatever you want to call it, with a 63 uh, AMG motor in it. I built this vehicle because Mercedes brought down an X-Class and I never put a proper motor into it. So this is a reliable Toyota with a more reliable power source in it. And maybe to be different and because I can do it and it's, it's one of my dreams and that's what I do. It's my passion building one-off vehicles if you can say that. I'm the owner of Colt and Toyota Spares. Uh, we specialize in Colt and Toyota Buckies. We've got a salvage yard. So this is what it's, it's part of my passion and uh, I've got availability to spares and it's part of actually marketing my business. Although it's not my business to do conversions, I've, I've had a couple of guys asking me to do the conversions and I want to keep it exclusive and unfortunately I won't be able to do it. Well, I would not be able to do it, I don't want to do it for anybody else. Uh, I want to keep the vehicle exclusive, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so basically we try to mimic is that the right word? To put some AMG love into the Hilux. It's got AMG brakes in the front. It's got AMG lookalike wheels. And then the interior, as you can see, is AMG seats, custom made by, for me by ASG. The car runs a Motec M150 management, done by MJR Technologies. They supply and fit all my Motec stuff. I need to make this work. And uh, if it wasn't for Martin at MJR, this would not have been possible though. They do the wiring, they do the harness, and everything around that. I only use Motec in each and every one of my vehicles, and that's from street cars, to road cars, to track cars, to my drag cars. It's proven technology. The amount of stuff we can do that is amazing. And I think the biggest thing behind, or behind it is Martin from MJR. He's a pure genius, and he's always willing to assist and help, and we're always trying new stuff and new things on the systems. We've actually mated a D4D 3 liter diesel gearbox to this particular motor just to make it more drivable and enjoyable. The previous one I built was manual and it was just a slip to drive it in traffic because obviously of the clutch. Preventing it to slip you had to put a copper racing clutch in it and it was a real slip to drive the car. So yeah this is a daily driver. I use this thing. I tow my other vehicles with it and I thoroughly enjoy it. Adapting the D4D Auto gearbox to the engine was, was quite a challenge because you also got a torque converter involved. Old MVO from MWAS Systems uh, did the adapter for us as well as the adapter that actually goes onto the torque converter which then bolts onto the ring gear of the 63 Merc. 
and it's actually working fine. We, we, like I said, we do it as a daily drive. It's, it's, it's fun to drive in traffic and it's not a hassle at all. The chassis, the chassis on this GD6 shape is much narrower than the D4D chassis. We actually had a huge problem. We tried to get branches or headers into this vehicle. There is no space and we didn't want to cut on the chassis. So it's actually running stock Mercedes C63 headers uh, with then a built exhaust that's uh, on the car. Obviously we tried to keep the car OEM plus look if that makes any sense. I hear everybody saying that. But it looks stock. It looks the way like it's supposed to be in there. Uh, this is a facelift 2021 legend shape bucky. So it's not a new bucky that was bought off the floor. It was actually accident damaged and I fixed it in my panel shop or body shop. Big up to my guys there. That's another part of my team. Anyway, the face the facelift was brought in from Malaysia, uh, which I brought in and I actually had it on the bucky before they were even launched in South Africa. And then obviously none of this was possible and the conversion without my right hand man, old Hercules. We know him as Chonky van Wyk. Uh, it wasn't possible without him. Even with all my cars, my drag cars, my race cars, my road cars, and he's also my second in charge in my shop. The whole interior was built, custom built, by Autosound Gesina, by Abdul and his team. We got Alcantara covered dash, red stitching, the seats is OPC Corsa seats. We recovered that with the AMG theme. The door panels has been done, the center console, the steering has been uh, done. It's half a Alcantara, half leather. So it's a complete custom interior just to bring in the theme or the AMG theme. Also the stitching on the seats and the diamond uh, pattern on the seats. So it's all been done just to bring in some of the AMG flavor into the Toyota highlights. I often get some people asking me the first question if it's for sale. Yes, it is for sale for the right money. So don't catch a fright when I tell you how much I want for it.